what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to hop on here really quick before i do my live stream tonight to talk to you guys a little bit about kale Laurie and her podcast baby mama no drama as all of you probably know kale has two podcasts she has the one podcast coffee combos with lindsey chrisley and then she has the other podcast which is called baby mama no drama with v who is joe's wife and joe is kale Laurie's ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy so it's an interesting dynamic to um have a podcast or work together with your baby daddy's wife right but it works out really well for the two because i've looked at the ratings they have a four and a half star rating i've read so many of the reviews from um, the people that listen to their podcast, they have a lot of fans, they have a decent sized following. So it seems like their podcast is a success, right? Well, they recently planned a podcast where they were bring Leah Messer on. She has been on before. I do believe, I know she's been on Coffee Combos for sure, but they planned this podcast where they would bring her on and Leah would talk about her daughter's health issues. So, Leah's daughter, Allie, has a rare type of muscular dystrophy. They were going to bring Leah on, talk about this. They made t-shirts for it to sell. The revenue that they generated from selling those t-shirts would go to Leah to help cover Allie's medical expenses, I do believe. The t-shirts were going to be a limited edition. You can only get them up until like, I think the 15th of this month. So they had this podcast planned. V was supposed to be a part of that. But when the podcast actually aired, we saw that V was not there. And Kale announced that not only was V not there, but she would not be there going forward. I'm gonna show you guys the clip really quick. Things have transpired in the past week or so. And so I think I'm gonna continue the podcast by myself. So yeah, welcome. Okay. To <laughs> Baby mama. <laughs> Baby mama, no, baby mama, all drama right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no drama. <laughs> no, but and really. Now that actually wasn't a clip; that was a still shot. But anyways, Kale basically says there that it's her. It's going to be her going forward. And when she talks about the name, she says baby mama. She says maybe it'll be just baby mama, and she goes baby mama, all the drama. So she hints at there is a problem there. Now, for her to say it's just going to be me going forward, that could have led us to believe, well, maybe V decided to leave. Like, maybe V decided to quit. Who knows? V does real estate as well, so maybe she just got too busy. Maybe she had too much on her plate. So, she decided to quit the podcast, and it maybe it was a mutual agreement. And Kale was okay with it, but when Kale said, baby mama, all the drama, that let us all know that there is some trouble going on between the two. So people started asking questions. People reached out to V. People was reaching out to Kale to find out what is going on, right? Kale literally said, it's me now. It's me going forward. Baby mama, all the drama. So after that went up just a few hours later, V posted a video on her personal Instagram account. And this is what she had to say. I just took VB to school. I'm in here listening to my late 90s, 2000s playlist because that's all I've been listening to lately. Um, <laughs> but I just wanted to hop on here because so many people were DMing me and asking me what happened to me on the podcast and stuff like that. So um, I'm actually, ah, I'm doing an episode. Um, so I'll be on Tuesday. Um, it would just be me and my best friend. We're going to do an episode. Um, me and Kale decided that we we're going to like kind of do episodes <clears throat> separately until we like get shit together um there's a lot going on but like we're fine um i'm actually filming with her later or whatever but um we're okay i just don't want you guys to like worry too much we're just you know we have to work through some things it's normal but um the show must go on so i will be having my own episode and, um next week and then she'll have like her episode with tony and stuff like that um but we are still here we're still gonna podcast and yeah i can't wait to I'll find on Instagram because I talk too fucking much. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to talk to you guys. Um, so next week uh, will be my episode and I'm excited. And yeah, just don't worry, you guys. Everything is fine. Um, I'm still here. So um, love you guys. I wanted to give you an update. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Um, I have a pretty busy day. I have like a listing coming up and I need to go get freaking gas. And yeah, crazy things. But <laughs> can't wait to talk to you guys and I'll talk soon. So as you guys just heard, V said that she's not going anywhere. She actually said, I'm going to be doing a podcast in a little bit with Kale. But anyways, she kind of went through that like really fast. 
like, oh, I'm going to be on tomorrow. I'm going to have my best friend on. I'm going to be filming with Kale later today. But anyways, and then she says, me and Kale, we're not going to be filming that much um, here in the future because we have some stuff to work out. We got some issues we need to work out. So now V is also saying there's some drama going on between the two. What is it? After V posts that video on her personal Instagram account, then Kale jumps on the Baby Mama No Drama Instagram account to promote the episode, and this is what she had to say. Everyone, thank you all so much for listening to my episode with Leah. Um, I am going on vacation this week, so I'm gonna be gone for two full weeks. I don't know what he just said. Um, V is going to take over next week with her friend Alessandra and um, I know you guys loved her so it should be a really good episode. So now Kale is going back on what she said earlier. Earlier remember she said that it would just be her going forward but now she's saying that she is going out of town for two weeks and that V will be taking over the podcast for a little bit. So what we know is while they may have had plans later that day to film an episode of the podcast, that doesn't necessarily mean that they were together because sometimes they do. I know for sure, Kale and Lindsay, they would um, record their podcast with Kale at her house and Lindsay at her house because they live in different states. So maybe they were going to do something like that for now because there is definitely an issue going on. Fans are wondering, what's the deal? So I was reading some comments to try to figure out what could possibly be going on between Kale and V. Now, these are the two theories that I've come up with. So one theory is the past couple of weeks on the show, Isaac has been vocal about not wanting to go to Joe's house. And Kale has basically said that Isaac does not have an outlet over there to be creative, that he doesn't have anything to do, that he's bored. So maybe that's causing them problems. The fact that Isaac and Kale, they are speaking out on the show about the fact that Isaac does not like going over to Joe's house. Maybe that's upsetting Joe. Maybe Joe talked to V about it. Maybe V mentioned it to Kale and maybe that caused issues. I don't know, that's a possibility. Another theory that I have is that maybe V is not wanting to sign the NDA. So recently, Kale has asked everyone in her circle, baby daddies, ex-husbands, friends, co-workers, everyone in her circle to sign NDAs. Now this stems from a situation that happened, I don't know, about two weeks ago. If you guys watch the show on a regular basis, then you guys may remember Mark. Kale's friend Mark. He's been her friend for a long time now. Like, I think they were friends in high school. He's been around for a minute. Now, the two had a fallen out about two weeks back, and right after things blew up between the two, he went on Instagram to talk about it. And it is being alleged that Mark has tried to sell stories about Kale. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I'm hearing, that he has tried to sell stories about Kale. After that incident happened, Kale immediately started passing out NDAs. She sent one to Javi. She sent one to Joe. She sent one to Lindsay Chrisley. Um, and I'm positive she's asked V to sign one as well. So maybe that's the issue. Maybe V said, mm, I don't want to sign an NDA. I don't know, you guys. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think the problem could be between the two? Is it just regular issues that like, you may run into when you work with your child's stepmom. Is it something personal like that? Like, oh, well, we're upset because you guys mentioned this on the show and that's hurting Joe's feelings. Or do you guys think that it's the NDA? Or do you guys think that something else happened? I don't know. V said that they're not going to be filming together until they work out their crap. So there's something there. Maybe their crap is working out this NDA situation. Maybe V don't want to sign it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm just a little YouTuber and I've had my friends turn on me and post um, text messages, uh, you know, on their channels and they post them without context or they say that I was talking about this when really I was talking about that and it makes you look bad. And then if you respond, well, then you're just being messy. You're playing into the drama or you're letting everything hurt your feelings. You don't have thick skin. So Kale being the celebrity that she is, um, I completely understand because look what Mark did. Mark come right out. He's doing Instagram lives where he's trying to talk about situations. I, he has years and years and years of messages between the two where she has probably confided in him with so many things that he could just put out there to the public. And if she was to respond, then everyone would paint her as, oh, oh she's just being crazy. 
a lot of people too will say, well, if you get mad, then it must be true, right? So if she was to get mad, then people would say that. Well, if she's mad, it must be true. So I completely understand why Kale is passing out these NDAs. I think she should have done it sooner. Not gonna lie, she's been on TV for over 10 years now. Girl, you should have been slapping them NDAs out when you was on TV maybe two or three years. Pass them out, make everyone sign. If they are your friend, then they should be okay with signing those. Just my opinion. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think is going on between the two? V did tell us, don't worry, she's not going anywhere. So hopefully in no time, the two will be back on the show together because I know that's really what the fans enjoy. They love to see the two together and the dynamic between those two. So I hope that comes back really quickly. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.